In the dead of night, what might I come upon? The roundhouse at the harbor. Oh. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Duplex, baby! What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and goodness gracious, it feels like it's been an eternity uh, since I've posted a video or done anything. I mean, it's it's been like probably nine days since I posted something on the channel, I guess, uh, by the time this comes out for you guys. But um, it's probably been a couple weeks since we played Dural Valley. And here we are. We need to keep making money, so um, thankfully we came across the big guns here. Uh, of course, our, we're playing unmodded in this playthrough uh, of Career, save for one thing, because we thought it'd be funny. Uh, we left the Wheel Arrangements mod on, and if we come across a choo-choo, we can use it. And so this is a 2442 duplex, and according to the mod, it'll put out about 61,500 pounds of tractive effort, uh, and should be able to pull about 1,700 tons all by its onesie. Uh, so I guess I'm going to get it fired up. Although I don't know how that works with Passage of Time. Because I want to not run in the night. Because uh, you guys have lived with too many night jobs where you can't see anything. So I guess what I'll do is I'll go sleep. We'll go figure out what jobs we can possibly do here today. Um, and then we will go put them together and go run. Because we uh, still got like a couple hundred thousand dollars to pay on our debts. I've got a debt to pay. Yeah, so, oh, there's lots of jobs here, but we're not shunting. We're not going to shunt with a duplex. We can't do logistical hauls, so we're just going to yeet this garbage all over the place. Uh, we still don't have the passenger license, which I guess technically is the other mod, and oh my god, that would be so much fun to do that one, but oh well. Uh, I need to spend $100,000 on a license to get that still. All right, so these are all the freight jobs. Machine factory, steel mill. Goods factory, steel mill, goods factory, food factory, food factory, food factory, food factory, maybe we're going to the food factory, goods factory, logistical hall, get out of here, and food factory, there's five jobs to the food factory, I don't even want to take five, that just sounds like pain, but I will take, how many tons is that? Because, like, those jobs are not worth it. And we could add a set out at uh, Goods Factory, but that's just going to be annoying more than anything else. So we could do... Yeah. Yeah, so 264 tons, 489 tons, 616 tons. So that's a little bit... It's going to be like... 11, it's going to be like 1,400 tons-ish. Sounds pretty solid. We're gonna be running a steam engine, so we should probably grab other lanterns. Actually, all of our lanterns out of, <laughs> out of the lost and found. That's uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know if sleeping affects the jobs. I don't know. Oh, I can walk up on the outside of the stairs. That's confusing. Uh, where's the couch? I'm just gonna break stuff. Uh, it's not in here. Oh, there's the couch, right there. Uh, let's see, let's uh, get us uh, just a little nap. Get, get us some daytime. Wee funk. Not quite the drunken jump onto the bed, but you know, it's fine. Looks like they left my jobs all over the place where they are. Uh, and the has happened and it's daytime, look at that. Um, okay, so I guess while we're kind of over in Hearsville, we will figure out where our gerbs are. They're going to be splody boys. It's all gasoline and diesel. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I can be trusted with that. Nothing happened last time. Oh god, I wonder if we're going to run into that train on the main. I guess we'll find out. We'll see if I remember by the time we get there. Uh, last episode, we accidentally blew up half of our job. It's fine. All right, so the 10 right there, all the way over in the yard. Cool. Who's that? That's uh, a shunt shunty boy. And I don't think there's any other boys in this yard, is there? 
Unless they're over... Oh, no, there are some over here. And which one of these? The 97. Oh, okay. So two of our trains are in the E-yard. Love that. Uh, at either extremity of it. Uh, let's go check the G-yard, I guess. Jump past all these passenger cars and shenanigans. Uh, nothing in the G yard. Okay, so the D yard. Probably. It's usually the uh, process of elimination. The hand car would probably would have been faster. But then you have to switch and stuff, so I don't know. That's probably it right there. Let's confirm. My F key. F's for my F key. Duh, boys. The 34. All right. So yeah, we'll grab them in that order. Um, and we'll deal with that. Uh, let's see. Work train. Hand car. Kapow. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, the other, the other forwards. There you go. Oh, God. Somebody's told me that there's a way to actually bind the keys for this that make more sense and you can run it even faster, but um, I don't remember, so I'm just using the scroll wheel. It does go pretty quick. This is probably faster than me F-spamming. Oh god. We can't really see where you're going, though. Oh god, can you derail the handcar? That's a goal now. Alright. Just working our way down to the shop here. Camp Town Lady, sing that song. Doodar, doodar. Camp Town Racetrack, five miles long. All the doodar day. Going to run all night. Going to run all day. Camp Town Lady, five miles long. I don't know the words. <laughs> this probably wasn't even the wrong key. Look at the laterals on those wheels. You can see they're wandering in and out. That's fun. Neat bit of sim. Yeah, this thing scoots. This has got to be faster than the F button. Because we got to be doing about 40 kilometer an hour right now. Uh, how do you get rid of it? Can you just go clear? Pow. That's a neat feature. I like that. Alright, let's spin the table to our duplex here. And then we're going to go put this thing together. Coal, hull. Coal, hull, coal, hull, coal. Yes. No. Light. There we go. Katunk. All right. Get all that going. Get a little bit of blower. Uh, and let's go get the appliances going, I guess. Uh, where are you? Up there. That's right. Oh, and the lubricator moves up top with this one because they have the uh, the cylinders are entirely remodeled by Satiric. And they've got rotary valve gear. It's like a a true poppet valve gear thing. Like it like it's a Pennsylvania Railroad engine. It's very fun. Alright, and Dynamo. There we go. Okay. And we'll even get some lamps. Gotta relight the lamps. There we go. Wonder if you give it too much fuel to start. No, it doesn't do anything. Cool. Look, we can see now. And it needs more coal. More coal for the hole. Yeah, last time uh, when I raced Con with this mod, um, there was a bug and it was causing infinite steam generation, basically. Um, and that's since been fixed with this current version. So, choose to Satiric for that. Let's get this thing out. God, it has two sets of cylinder cocks, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the rotary valve gear is so cool. God, it's nifty. All the U-joints. Look at him. Alright, let's get this thing out on the table vaguely. And give her a little break. 
That looks like it's in the clear. And rotate up to there. All right. And now let's go get those first, uh, first set of cars here. That is so freaking cool looking. Fine. If I have to, I'll get back in the cab. All right, get past the switch here. Ah! Hello! A friend! Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh, big stretch. Big kitty stretch. Yes. Very good. I think last time I basically almost ran over the cat, and I probably did this time actually, uh, without even noticing it, and you guys laughed at me because I didn't notice it. Can we get a cat and the locomotive in the same shot? Can you give me a good thumbnail, Mr. Kitty? Meow. Yes. We're watching. We're watching the train together. No, don't. No. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't make this hard. It's a cat duplex. <laughs> if I zoom in, there we go. Why are your cylinder cocks mad already? Annoying choo choo. All right, fine. We'll clear him out again. Turn off the blower. We tried. I don't know if any of those will work, but... I shut the dampers. Because we've basically got the uh, pressure we need. And we're going to have to line switches. Or do we want to get them in that order? Because the 34... We're lined into the 34 because we came from it with the handcar. So we could just grab that one first. It is the heaviest one. It's probably actually smart, because then you're... Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's smart or not. We'll find out. If we get the... If the, the 10 is in the middle, there's the best chance that we end up with two that go to the same track at the food factory. Because the length of these. Uh, so I think, we'll yeah, we'll just go bang into the, uh, the first one we've got. And it'll be fine. Yeah. God, it looks so silly with both sets of drivers. I love it. The world's smallest little duplex. Shut up, you. All right. I'm gonna come into the siding here. Bang into those cars. What's the steam dome say? Everything's hunky dory. Yes, so long as this the uh, dirty side stays up, we'll be fine. You want to keep your trains shiny side down, dirty side up, and everything will be okay. Yeah, if you if you do the opposite of that, you'll have a bad time. <clears throat> it needs fart nuggets. It still has fart nuggets. I just clipped through them. <laughs> this just in: fire is fart. More at eleven. <clears throat> Oh, you really can't get that, can you? That angle cock from the tender platform. So we should probably not say hello to the boys at 20. That's probably fine. Come on. Shiny tank cars. That's a good, good pace. Look, in the roller bearings, they roll. Don't just get shoved by... No, I just get... Run over. Okay, cool. So we'll just we'll just wait right here. Open the angle cock. Bang. And once again, the handbrakes usurp me. I mean, we did hit it kind of hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, a little bit. It's fine. 
thought I heard the sound of one of the tank cars about to blow up. I was very worried. Tie in the air first, because we're stupid. Then tie in the coupling. Get run over by the train. It's fine. There we go. Air is tied in. There we go. Is the air tied in? No, I closed that. That's why. I was like, it's not acting like the air is tied in. And the handbrake's on the other end. Because they purposefully do that to spite me at this point. Because I never care where I tie my handbrakes. Which is fair. Get that all untightened and then I'll move over and grab the next cut. Go. Go, train, go! I love the out-of-sync exhaust beats. Yeah. And now the, uh, the, the rods are out of sync because the front engine slipped. Satiric made it more purposeful that the front engine slips because uh, it's got less weight on it than the back engine does. Love to see that. And the, uh, the cutoff's also different as well. Uh, specifically, it says that the, uh, the normal S282, let me see exactly what the verbiage is. The normal S282 has a five to 90% cutoff range. And now we have one to 75% uh, on this engine, which matches the cutoff of the T1, which is the, the Pennsylvania Railroad 4444 that's being rebuilt. Um, well, a, new, a replica is being made, 5550. Which, if I recall, is not actually a number of one that actually existed. It would be the, the next one, which is kind of cool. And then the, uh, the cylinder sizes got changed a little bit to, uh, to match things as well. The stroke is an inch shorter. And then the, uh, the, the bore is 0.65 smaller. So, kind of neat. Uh, weird little details there. So... <laughs> all right so we're just gonna have to line the one switch there and then uh, probably line some switches in the yard when we get there but just kind of set it up for the shove and ride the the back boy i guess we'll let it clear uh but some of you may be curious as to why the cutoff never goes to zero uh, the range is five percent to ninety percent right uh, technically, in many valve gear setups, uh, you, you don't actually ever get to 0% cutoff. Uh, not until you get lost motion. They're actually set up that there is kind of a minimum, which is interesting. Um, like Stevenson valve gear is, is interesting in where there's not truly a neutral position, um, where you can actually run one click in the opposite direction of travel, right? So if, you're, if you bring the bar to center, and then you go one click in reverse while you're moving forwards. If it's perfectly timed and it doesn't have lost motion, it will actually run still forwards and apply power still in forwards, but slightly in reverse because you haven't overcome the minimum cutoff in the other direction, basically. It's kind of a neat thing. It's kind of wacky and I've, I've tested it too with the RGS 20. She will run one notch in reverse um, all the way up. Like that's as high as she goes hooked up. Uh, and it's really neat to see. And I actually used it a fair bit during Polar Express this year with 20, or the, uh, last year, I guess. Um, where it was like, oh yeah, no, she... Shut up, you. Um, <laughs> in order to have the best time keeping things smooth and modulated right, um, it actually made a lot of sense to, um, to run it at that high of a cutoff. So that was actually really neat actually had a good use case for it so let's see 20 is probably plenty 
And we'll run to the other end of the train, hopefully. Hopefully that other switch was lined. Because we are slow running. Okay, yes, we are lined to the right there. We'll ride on the back boy here. Get it, Combs Radio. Uh, switch. There we go. Yeah, we gotta go all the way to the right. And then we gotta go all the way to the left so we can pre-line those switches too. That was easy. Okay, so now we're almost all the way lined. We need to line that guy all the way to the right. Cool, and we'll go dunk in. But yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to know that like there's not necessarily a true neutral position. I mean, in some Valve Gear cases, if you've got lost motion, which is what happens when your your pins start to wear out, um, you will end up having zero cutoff and almost almost in effect a negative cutoff. Not necess not truly negative, but the the band where the zero applies will be bigger. Because lost motion means that okay, a pin and a bushing and the valve gear has worn out so that they've got more slot between them, which means that the valve will travel less than it normally used to do. And so you go from the minimum down to zero and uh, makes for an interesting experience. Some engines will go dead a lot f uh, further out from center than you'd expect. That's the case with 491, actually. She's got lost motion because her, her valve gears received no attention. Um, it was close enough and good enough for service when we got her in service in 2014. Uh, and so we didn't do anything to it, but we're going to be doing stuff when our next rebuild comes around. Oh, we were a smidge early. Oh, that's probably better than blowing up the boys in the whole harbor. As much fun as that sounds like. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 491's uh, doesn't really... You, you get her like three or four notches out of center and she she stops. And, and she won't admit any steam. Not any bit, like not at all. And it's, uh, it's kind of wacky in that way. All right, we're just gonna leave that like that because uh, we want to make sure we're compressing stuff and it won't get going too fast, hopefully. It's fine. I think we banged into him already. Yep, I hear the brakes complaining. All right, this one. We'll even tie it in first. Now we'll get the air going, if we can. Oh my god, if there was a collision box on the car, that would be nice. There we go. Now all the brakes are going to come on, and this brake is also on the far end. Again, I shouldn't complain, but you know, here we are. And now we'll pull ahead past the switch and go bang into the third set, uh, then go figure out our fees and whatnot, and then uh, send it. 1,400 tons up the hill with one locomotive. One locomotive with two engines. Yeah. It's one of those dumb, uh, nuanced things. Some people look at this and go, this is a steam engine, this whole thing. Well, this bit down here is, and so is this bit. This whole thing is the locomotive. So. running with the damper shut this whole time. It's probably making hellacious black smoke. It's fine. Certainly pissed off the fire a bunch, that's for sure. Alright, bye train! Gonna wait at the switch here. I wonder. What are the odds? Let's let's try a thing, ladies and gents. We didn't really get a ton with the micro shunter last time. Does the micro shunter have enough huevos to shove these cars? level track it might that would save me from having to run back and forth and and do all that obnoxiousness again 2500 bucks might save us a little, little effort here uh oh goodness how do i we gotta turn everything on again right
and we can charge up the air ready to go to start. I love the little sounds it makes. And watch, the brake's gonna- oh, no, it's still there. Okay. Alright, buddy. What you got? Oh. Oh, it might actually be able to move this. Okay. I'm gonna turn the sand on and just... Give it all the things. Temp's not going too high, even with the amps as high as they are. This is a strong little dude. So we can get these cars going fast enough that we can just kind of kick them into, uh, into our train there now. Like now that their their air is set up, we can just bottle that. That's great. Yeah. So we could just kick these in and then not have to deal with moving the steam train about, uh, around a bunch. Like, that's great. That's great speed. Thanks, little dude. Because these guys don't have to go too crazy far. They'll probably roll all the way in. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go try and deal with our license stuff while those roll. And we'll see where they roll to. They should. They got a fair amount of momentum. They're loaded. I bet you they'll roll into the train. See if we can time the hook. Because I got to go pay a fee or two so we can actually take these jobs and get out of here. All right. So we go fees. We have how many monies? 78000 Uh, $76,000. Yeah, let's pay that one. Pow. Now we have no money. Congrats. But we only have to pay another 283000 There you go, Mr. John Doe. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go in this order. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, well, we'll reorganize those in a second. Uh, we grab the, the 97 is gonna be on the end. So we'll just go, um, oh goodness, caps lock, that guy go there. The 10's in the middle, that guy's first, then that guy. Okay, just like that. They're still rolling. Do we go check on our steam engine first? Our jobs are accepted, so the clock is ticking. I should have left the little dude pushing him. They might get there, but we'll go bang into him with the little dude. Give him another wee little kick. We made it probably close to a train length, maybe. Come on! Hello, little friends. Oh, I suppose I should probably shut it down, too. Oh god, this thing accelerates quick. At least off the line. How much do we want to battering ram those cars? Probably not much. We own this one. This is ours. This is our locomotive. How good is the handbrake? Pretty good. Yeah, they're still rolling, but I don't know if they're going to roll all the way in or not. All right. Gently. 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 Bang. Get the sand. That's too much. Okay. There we go. We do a little shoving. All right, that's probably plenty. I said that the first time, but I think that's actually probably plenty. All right. We want to be ready with the uh, the chain here so that it doesn't try and bounce off or something stupid. That video in Germany of the one guy in full high-vis standing in the gauge. 
waiting for a train to come in and it's going like twice as fast as this is uh, always terrifying. This isn't so terrifying though. Oh good, that we've managed to put the just flammable boys at the back and all the splody boys are up front. Okay, and then we can tie in the air. All right, now we can highball. Probably need to truss up my fire and, and water probably, but we can also figure that out on the road a little bit. I, mean, I can't run a hand car down the middle of my train, unfortunately, so gotta run past it all, you know. All right, let's go. All right, we've been sitting for a bit, so we're gonna do that. Looks like pressure's great. We're gonna get lots of coal in the hole, though. Get this guy open, sand on, come on. We're gonna want water. Yeah, we're gonna want a fair amount of water. But the cutoff maximum is 70%, so we're always gonna be relatively efficient, I think. Throttle's on the ceiling. So is the injector. This is a lot of splody boys. How many splody boys is this? It's 14. And they go to the C4 appropriately. And they go to the C6, that's six, so that's 20. And then that's 11, so we have 31 splody boys and they go on the D2 inbound. We've got, all three tracks are different. Cool, thanks. Thanks for that game. Oh, uh, the front engine's still slipping. Even with turning the sand on to try and catch it. No, cat, move! There's another cat there, it's an orange cat! All right. I'm gonna try and hook that up. Try and keep up with this thing, because our pressure just fell like a rock. And our water's gonna slosh towards us when we get on the grade, so it will go up, but we're gonna want more still. But we're doing pretty much the top speed we can through here, so that's just about perfect. We no longer need to uh, trade uh, efficiency for speed here. The fire temp is pegged. I don't think I could get any more by adding blower, which I wouldn't expect to on the real one. Top of the sight glass on the water, so we'll shut it off. We're slowing down a smidge, so I will keep the bar where I need to. Reverser, rather. And now that the water's off, it looks like it is gaining on pressure a little bit. Go, train, go! I want to see it. God, it is scooting. The, the staccato dual exhaust of both engines this is really cool. Oops, oh, no. It's bad practice to catch slips with sand, but did anyways. It's fine. Oh, now the water's close to the bottom of the glass because we tipped over, right? Leveled back out. So we shouldn't need as much steam through here, but it's trying to come back. This is being a bit of a fight right now, guys. We should have filled up on water before we left. Anytime you, you get out of town, um, and then you're not set, like, you're gonna fight it. Like, that's just how it goes. Catching up on the road with a coal fire sucks. But we're hovering right around 12 bar. It's, it's decreasing now. I'm gonna try and keep a little water going in it. I don't know if I can though. And maintain speed. All right, let's see if we can bring it back. Bring back some efficiency here. Give me more pressures. I don't like seeing the water that low and we're on a bit of a grade. Come on. The engines uh, I'm used to working with, with their uh, sight glass setup and and the amount of grades they want on they actually had a tag saying the water must show here on 3% grade 
safer if you're going uphill it's down about there because you don't want to expose the front end of the boiler either. Okay, we gain back a little bit of pressure, not much, but some. And I think we gain back a little water too. So we're going to just try and keep this thing going here. How's the coal? Needs more in the hole. Oh god. I don't want to stop. We need more water than this though. I'm going wide open. It's going to murder my pressure, but... We'll just keep our light lightly working for now to, to, to try and take up the pressure with the water usage, not the steam usage. And if that means we lose a lot of speed, that means we lose a lot of speed. This thing should be able to slog it out at decently slow speeds with sand, so... I don't want to get much lower than 20, though. Thankfully, the pressure's not gone away too bad. The temp of the fire has come down, though. Can I get it back up with the blower? Unsurprisingly, not. Dampers are up. It's kind of maintaining a slower speed, though, so that's... That feels pretty good. Okay, we're at the top of the sight glass now. So I'll just keep this lightly going. And let's get that fire pegged again. Shut the blower off, I don't think it did anything. Get it working hard enough to draft the fire to build some more pressure and hopefully not use too much more. Water's looking happy, I'm gonna keep it one click open, just fine down so it's trying to put in what I'm using. So if I don't see it come back in the glass for a bit, then we'll I'll have to figure that out. But the speed's coming back up, so this isn't tonnage for this thing, but it's, it was getting close. And uh, putting myself behind a little bit definitely gave me a little bit of a challenge there. <laughs> That's what I love about this game. Operational complexity is, is great. And the mods, the modders, I mean, satiric, huge cheers. Like, I've always said that about uh, the Deer All Valley community. The, the folks who make the mods are just some of the most wonderful folks out there. Uh, yeah, a duplex in this game is hilarious. Maybe someday Greg will finish his 2882. His class 8686. <laughs> Can I kick the sand off? Huh. Kind of. Alright, we're gonna be leveling off soon because we're coming through this tunnel think. There might be one more weave, but... Yeah, this thing's slippery, and this is the, uh, this is the 2442. There's also a 4444, which is more accurate to the T1 configuration, but this is what I happened upon at the roundhouse, and it's got a little bit better adhesion. The other one's gonna be extra slippery, I would think. There's less weight on the drivers, comparatively. Yeah, so we're coming around the this left-hand turn, which is right in here, and then we're going to be going through, blitzing through there. And those little locations are the interroute stations for the passenger mod. So, we don't have the license yet. I want to run one of those really bad. I was actually hoping that I'd end up getting a duplex for a passenger job so I could get my full Pennsylvania Railroad nerd on, but fortunately that was not uh, not the case. But, you know, we'll make another, like, $400,000, and then we'll be able to do that, so. I think we're lined left. Yes, we are. Here we go. And then, uh, then we're gonna see how, what, uh, speeds these duplexes can do, because they're well-known to be speedy boys. At least on the Penzi. Possibly faster than Mallard, speedy boys. Water's looking pretty happy. Shutting it back a little bit. More coal. We're gonna we're taking the fast route. It, it's it, like it, there's almost never a reason to go that way unless you're going to like the coal mine or something. Um, 
it's probably a little bit more track mileage than that one to go this way, but this is the speed section through the steel mill. Like, you can just scream right through it, so. Oh, where'd the water go? Drake? Where's the water? I guess we, we didn't level off yet and I thought the water was fine. Well, now we'll just drown it with as much injector as we can give it while we try and get some more speed out of this thing. Yeah, so I want to see if we can fly across, if we can get all these time bonuses here. I don't know what they are. 84 minutes? We ought to be able to do that. Are they all 84 minutes? Yeah, okay. Alright, I don't like how much wa uh, steam pressure I'm using now. But it looks like the water's more like half glass, so... See how much speed we can keep coaxing out of it. Enough to make the flanges chirp, so... That's good. We like that. Seeing those U-joints spin around that speed's crazy. It's fun. Rotary valve gear is wacky and neat. I can't remember if these are Franklin or if they're uh, Caprodi. Or if that's the same thing. Never dealt with rotary valve gear. Ah! Almost doing 70, and I'm pretty sure the speed through here is, in fact, 70. And the flanges chirping would uh, probably confirm that. Then it's 80 right there. All right. And then the really fast sections right after this. So we just went around that, that big turn there. And then it kind of wanders back and we get like 100 or 120, which I don't think we're going to be able to hit. Not with this much tonnage behind us. But we'll give it a college try. see just how fast we can get this thing screaming. There's a 90. We're not quite doing 80 even though. Come on! Speed and power! Be great if I had more pressure, but... Yeah, I guess we'll just dial it back rather than doing a bunch of brake shenanigans and just dial back the usage a little bit. And just let it, uh, let it do the thing and see if we can get the, the temp and the pressure to come back up. Yeah, we're gonna need more water because we're about to tip downhill heading into the seal mill. But we are doing 80. See, I love that. I'm gonna get the blower rip in and I'm going to shut back on the steam. Because, yeah, we're gonna be slowing down now. We're entering a 70 and we're doing 80. And there's a 60 up there, so let's start setting up some air. Let's see, that's about a bar worth of set. It's about 15 PSI. That ought to squeeze us down really nice. And we're gonna get down to about 70 and I'm gonna release it. And then we ought to coast through this 60 nice and easy. Water's come way up, that's great. Now that we're no longer using a crap ton of the engine. And we yoink through that curve. That's the, that's the killer spot of that. I've had the tender kick flip off right there more times than I can remember. <laughs> yeah, water's now sky high. We've shut off the, uh, the consumption of it. More coal adding to the fire temp? I don't know. It's fine. We even slowed down to 50. I could have shut that set off earlier, I guess. See if we can't draft the fire a little harder. Yeah, there we go. Start working a little steam and that fire temp screams back up. I guess it is being drafted by two sets of engines. Yeah, we got a 90 through here, but it's gonna go downhill and we'll have an 80 and then Lord knows where I'm lined at the steel mill. Really cooking now. 
temp wise. Come on! I think there is a 60 up ahead, so we'll just kind of shut the steam back and we'll keep it lightly working just to kind of try and keep the fire temp up. Because the blower is not really doing much. There's a 60. Alright, we're going to set up, uh, start with half a bar. It's about 7 pounds. And we're going to keep the water on. And we are getting pinched down just slightly by that. The seven pounds set, so. Line. Oh, like, we're lined to the left! We're lined to the left! Oh, I didn't have the. Crap, 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 No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! Come back! I hate the teleport range, 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 I hate the teleport range. Stop! 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 The brakes are very mad, I wonder why. We're still doing 40! Stop! God, are we gonna clear that Y entirely? No, I guess not. How did the brake pipe not zero out? Switch stands being on the wrong side of the camera. Yeah, it didn't let the brake pipe go down too terribly far. I'm not sure why it didn't do that. Brake pipe should have zeroed out when I dumped it. Well, now we get to shove back up the hill. That's a joy. And it's starting to rain. Come on. Come on. Go. Isn't that neat? Rotary valve gear. Let's break shoes for a little, little, little smidge warm. The front engine's quarter slipping. I love that. It's so cool. Alright, well, we'll just wander this thing back up the hill here. The pressure's finally coming up, which is nice. We only have to shove, you know, clear that switch. Ugh. <laughs> could we have just continued? No. Well, I guess we could have continued and run a very silly way to Food Factory. The, the route that never gets used. We could have just kept going. Maybe that would have been faster than backing up. I don't know. Come on. All right, to hell with it. We are going the other way. Go. You've got sand. Go. This thing is a slippery, slippery choo-choo.
This is gonna add a fair amount of mileage to our route. We were gonna go that way, now we're gonna go all the way down this way. Although we will avoid potentially blown up tank cars if we go this way, so... Fine. The wet is really not helping with my whole situation here. Is it just the front engine that's just doing it? Yeah. Yeah, nice and screaming hot now, come on. Line through the center. Oh, look, a little 060, a cute little boy. Cute little dude. We want to be going fast, but there's not enough friction to go fast. trying to find if there's a better combination of throttle and reverse that gives us a little bit more traction and acceleration here. We're gonna run this thing out of sand today, that's for sure. We're gonna be lying through straight here either. Uh, no, we're not. Need that switch stand to be lined that way. And that switch stand to be lined that way. I was gonna say, we've recently left out of this place with some boys. There we go. Now we're able to put some serious power down. Now that we're at speed. Got this thing's hunting all over the place. 70 up ahead. And we're basically doing that, so I'm gonna shut off. We'll just blitz through it. There is that 30 coming up eventually here. Just gotta keep an eye out for it. Yeah, we're, we're now, now taking the long route, we're gonna be pressured to go fast. It's been 54 minutes of been recording, so... Shut up! There's the 60, and it's right after the 60, so I'm just gonna dump it. Oh boy, well that's sliding. Added sand and it caught it again. That's good. Releasing. Charge back up, would you? Yeah, so that's the 30 there. Okay, so we dumped it a little aggressively. We really are going to run this thing out of sand. The brake pipe is almost recharged. I wish I could bail the engine. That's such a critical thing in real train operations. Rad rotor lets you bail the engine. Doesn't, doesn't necessarily matter in that game. But uh, in this game, it would make a lot of sense. All right. Well, we're back underway, and we're doing less than the 30, so we're not gonna have a splody time, so. And the, God, this, this choo-choo uses water like it's going out of style, that's for sure. We are working it really, really hard, too. It looks like the track's just 
in the weeds. That's the, that's the museum saying, through the weeds, not around them. Come on, water, come back, please. God, the, the challenge with doing this, this direction is that the, the likelihood that we run through switches and things that are in no way set for any, any possible movement is very high. <clears throat> we got 31 cars behind, so we gotta make sure they're clear before we do anything too crazy in terms of speed and power. This is a slippery choo-choo. Are we out of water? Oh. Cool. Um, that's a fun wrinkle. Um, is there water in City Southwest? There's got to be water at City Southwest. It doesn't show on the map, so I guess we'll pull into City Southwest and then back out. This is this was supposed to be easy. Screams. Well, we're just gonna kill the fire. What switch is that? Okay, that's the return of the Y. Sorry, fire. Go away. Go away now. Go bye bye. We don't want you. We don't want you anymore because we have no water. Go away. Okay. Fire gone. I have no idea where the hell the standpipe would be if there is one. I would guess to the left right here in front of the passenger platform. Well, that's just a guess. In worst case, uh, if we really screw up and we have no idea where it is, we'll just cut off the train and go find it. Okay. Where you be, Mr. Standpipe? Please tell me you're on this alignment. Look at all those passenger cars. Uh, not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oh, it's probably over in the servicing area. Okay. <clears throat> Please stop. I've never noticed that. That brake valve doesn't work. It doesn't do the right thing. It does lock up the wheels, though. That's fun. Where can one get water in this place? Can I just leave the hatch open and let the rain do it? Ha 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 ha. It's everyone's favorite suggestion. It's not how that works. Oh, look, it's right there. Oh, it's in line of the turntable. That's annoying. And I was really hoping we were gonna stop clear of this, so we didn't have to shove this whole stupid mess back. But we're gonna have to. And yeah, we're right at the bottom of the glass. That's not great. Fire temp is nothing though, so that's good. And we have basically a full boiler of pressure, so. I guess once the uh, the brake pipe recovers, which it is taking its sweet time, then uh, then we'll back up. <clears throat> Come on, you! Still charging. Still charging. The air pumps using some of my steam. As soon as that truck gets clear, I'm gonna throw the switch and see if I can send me over this way. That's a bar of pressure already. Alright. Those guys are in the clear, pal. Perfection. Let's go get this thing more water. We may not make a time bonus. This is gonna suck. 
This was supposed to be a quick and easy episode before Montezuma Mondays. Oh crap, that switch isn't lined. Reflexes of a cat, ladies and gentlemen. Save our steam. And then yeah, we gotta we gotta run in there, go there. Hopefully those cars just keep rolling back out all the way out of the main. That would that would be a help. They do feel like they're going pretty fast. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Their air is bottled, so if they try to run too far, we'll know how to go catch them. Alright, set them up. Why are you full of water all of a sudden? You stupid whiny thing. Stop! You're almost perfectly synced up. It's funny. Get me out somewhere I can see, please. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna go to the left. Get some water. Actually, we could run into the shop and get some sand, too. May as well. Because we're going to need it. <laughs> then there's a turntable there. These guys are still rolling, but I don't know if they're going to clear the main, so I don't think we'll turn around. Yeah, we'll go kiss that DE2 and see if we can get uh, a sand service. I think we should be able to. Or is this the service spot right here? Oh, it is right here. Yeah, it should be able to service our sand at least. I'm gonna stop anytime this century, please. I made as well. Oh well, hang on. We don't. Oh, we don't have that much money. Oh crap. I don't know how much water costs. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go find out how much water costs first. Go. Oh. Well, fine. Come on. Not like that. Come on, train! <clears throat> this is not going to be a great episode. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Only having $2,000... And our other engine that we have here is a DE2, like... We need a- we need more power than that. de is not gonna cut it. Hopefully we can get enough water to do something. Did we just get that? Almost. In range. Right. So if we do alt mode, we can. Incompatible misaligned? Oh. Oh, I see. That's that. I thought there was a way to swivel the hoist. Oh, like this one. Okay. That's not quite enough there. So just a smidge more. watching the ground outside, seeing that we're moving a little bit. That looks like it'll be in range. There we go. Incompatible. Water? What 
What do you mean water's incompatible? Oh, because I was in the loco. That's why. Um... Well, you know, uh... Oh, did it just unfill it? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't... It won't let me actually fill it truly until I can pay for it. Despite it showing that it's filling. That's obnoxious. Fair, but obnoxious. So, I guess we're not dining and dashing, and we're not getting sand. And that's, uh, and that made everyone sad. But you know what? It'll be fine. As soon as we see water in the glass. All right, let's go get back on the train. Or help me God, please move. <laughs> We're really SOL now, we have $77. Thing wasn't such a slip and slide. Flat spots? Never heard of them. Oh god, I forgot to check on the tank cars. Even with super limited cutoff, this thing just slips. The, the rain is far from ideal that we ended up getting a bunch of rain. And they did not clear the main, so we can't just back up there. We have to do a Z, knuckle into him, and then, yeah. And I can't summon a, a, a micro shunter because I don't have enough money. Ugh. Single tier. And if the fire could, like, come on, make some pressures, that'd be great. That's the track we came in on. Yeah, because that's the main. Come on. We want to start Montezuma Mondays sometime before the end of the century. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, the rain showing up was really not what I had counted on. And it's not even filling my tender tank. God, we only have like a half tank of water if we put all that water in the boiler. Well, we're gonna see what happens. We don't have too crazy far to go. We've already gone Harbor to City Southwest. I mean, it's another half of what we did, but with less grade. So. It should be okay, he said, possibly. Hoping, praying, thinking. <clears throat> all right. Let's get past this switch. And it became nighttime anyways. No way to win. Especially not with flat spotted drivers. <laughs> Come on, you. Back it up. Switch is lined? No, it's not. Got a line switch still. Come on. All right. 
don't have too far to go. <clears throat> I don't want to use too much water, but I also want to, you know, get there sometime before the heat death of the universe, so. Come on, train! Yeah, there's no opportunity to pick up more power unless we stall out and run out of water between machine factory and food factory. And I don't know that alignment, and it's going to be dark. Sounds like a really good recipe for disaster. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. I might run out of coal, too. Click. God, I hate... I hate switching in this game sometimes. And away the cars rolled. Come on. Move. All right. Tie in the air. Air is tied in. We got places to be. Come on. Not sure if that was a slip or a water. <clears throat> that ought to be good there. Okay. God, it is just religiously popping the safety now because we can't really use any steam. It may have stopped raining, though, which would make my entire century. Okay, that switch is lined right. And this switch is on this side. Now it's lined right. Okay, now we got places to be. Choo-choo. I don't want to set up the train because I don't have to wait for an eternity for it to do anything. The, lo the engine brakes on this locomotive are just depressing. Come on. Use what sand we have to get this thing moving. Come on. Go forwards! Please! You got all the steam in the world. And, and then the driver said, We don't need s steam, we need friction. Come on! Come on! God, it does sound cool, though. We'll award it those points. Come on. Got pressure for days, that's for sure. Let's use some of our precious water supply here. Get it off the pops for a second. See if we can keep it accelerating without sand. Possibly. And keep a light feed of water on as we Rock on through the night. Come on, you. And this is a great uphill, so... Do what we can. So we're on this alignment, we're gonna have to turn right at the first junction. New tracks! And hopefully we don't have anything go wrong, hopefully we don't have to stop or go to the machine factory. Do I put more coal in it? I don't think I put more coal in it, I think we save our coal. Oh, 
we're accelerating. I don't think we're gonna set any time time bonus records here. So our last cut is at D2. Set it out there, and then we go to C6. We could probably kick that one and then go into C4. Run through D2, kick into C6, back into C4. It's probably the move. At least getting some good speed now. That's good. Come on, train! Yeah, we could be doing a hundred, but single tier, alas, no. Where is that junction? an 80 and we're doing about 55. I thought we couldn't drive 55 though. <clears throat> Some dude needs Sam told me that. <laughs> there it is. We've had at least one wrong switch debacle <laughs> and, a, and a close call so far this run, so I really want to get that. Alright, come on. Give me the switch. Show me the money. There it is. There we go. And line to the right. We are going to run out of coal. We might run out of water. Ugh, come on! New new territory, here we go. 60 and it's downhill. Okay. We like that. Oh, but we don't like that. Oh, crap. Please don't make it blow up now. I don't have the coal to relight it. The fire temp's pegged, it's kind of a moot point. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Maybe the water comes back. Maybe we Cthulhu. Maybe the water comes back, maybe we Cthulhu? I see water now. I didn't see what that speed sign said. I don't like this. Is there any switch on this? No, this is pretty much just the run to the, uh, all the way there. Seventy, but it's gonna go down. We're doing sixty, so we'll just kinda leave it on for now. I don't know if the track leveled off or if the water's just finally come back up. Here's that state oh that's a four Fly quickly, please. Oh god, this is spaghetti. Okay, I think we caught it. Now the water's everywhere. Cool. Oh, please come back, brake pipe. Dumping it's not the answer, apparently. Brake cylinder is just taking forever to release. Which was stopping us from slipping, at least. So there was that, but... We are going to run out of coal. This is just... This is just turned into the train from hell. I don't even know where we are on this map now. We went past the station and then... The, well, okay, then I guess we're in here. It's that crazy chicane. At least we got plenty of water in the boiler now. It's 
just thinking to myself that it doesn't slip as easy with uh, only 12 bar of pressure. And then it just did the wee. So I guess we'll just live with that. See what comes to us. Is there anything else that looks that spicy? It looks like that right-hander might be kind of sharp. And then those guys might be that one. Yeah, and there it's going to get a little crazy. Come on! We're so totally not getting any time bonuses. For our own hubris. Blitzing through the steel mill switch. Because right now we've gone basically that far. Which would have put us... We would be on the final approach to the food factory right now. Had we gone the right way. Although we might have run out of water, so... Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Because I would have blitzed right past the steel mill, no questions asked, and then it, we would have had to go to the oil well or the goods factory for water. Which may not have happened, so who knows? 60, alright. Try and keep the cutoff back a little bit, try and save some efficiency. I get it wide open? Nope. It is. Scroll wheel controls are nice, but they're hard to be precise with. And that's a 50. Well, we're not even doing 50, so not too worried about it. There it is. seen any more speed boards yet. Is our injector still working? We still have water? Some! Okay, well that's good. Ugh. It's nerve-wracking. <laughs> we need to get these cars delivered, otherwise we have no cash. And this episode will have been for moot. And even without the time bonus, some of these jobs are worth a fair amount. It's worth almost a hundred grand. Maybe we should unload that one first. That's a hundred! Is this a racetrack over here? Have I been sleeping on the fastest route through the valley? It's a hundred for a little bit, but it must be just for that one little bit there. It's not like we're gonna get to do a hundred anyway. safety. Don't waste my efficiency. Shush. Drown it with some water, I guess. It's a 60. I'm not even doing 50 yet, so that's good. Okay, that stopped it from popping, at least. We're still gaining speed. 50, so it's not too bad. Wish you could see what this place is like during the day. It's a 70 through there, okay. Sharp left and then a sharp right. Immediately after, I don't... We must be in here, maybe. Although there's a bridge, I don't know. If we come up upon RJ platform when we get through here, we'll know. Now nah, it looks like we got more chicane. 60 and it goes down, okay. Yeah, so it must be this left-hander, and then, yeah, we got that sharp right-hander coming up. We're going to be proactive, not reactive. It's probably going to be a 40. So I'm going to set up about 10 PSI-ish, and then quickly release it. I 
I didn't see the speed sign for this right-hander. Was there one? I don't know if there was one. Well, we're just gonna sneak around this at 40 and call it a day. Oh, this isn't the right-hander yet. We got another lefty to go first. It's a little squiggle. Wish I could see around the cloud of smoke that I've created. Yeah, I'm officially lost on the map here. <clears throat> Aye, we're good and lost now. That might be the spicy turn there. But I didn't see a speedboard for it. This is like the longest duration between speedboards I've seen in this game. It's kind of a cool canyon, though. Nifty. There's the four. We're basically doing 40, so I'm just gonna kinda keep keep the status quo here. Yeah, this is this has gotta be the sharp one then. This this sharp right hander right before RJ. And this whole section's gonna be slower, I think. Must be. I don't know where else it could be. Yeah, there's RJ up there and those lights. I don't know if we're putting any water in the boiler anymore. Uh, no, we are not. That is MT. Yep. Okay, well. Just in case there's something in there I can't see. I'm gonna keep that all set up. And I guess we'll just keep the fire in it for as long as we can. And as low as we can. Come on, thing. We just passed RJ, we're pretty close in, and then that's a da oh, that's a downhill. Oh, we might be hosed. I don't know when it goes downhill, but I want to keep the fire making pressure as long as I can. But as soon as it goes downhill, we're going to be in danger of blowing this thing up. So we're going to have to do a strategic water dump, or a, a fire dump, I think. We're about to... I think we're about to rejoin the uh, the other track there. Or maybe in a, just a smidge in there. As soon as we see a speed board that says, Go downhill, we need to, we need to kill the fire. Hell, we're gonna kill the fire now. Just, it takes forever to dump it out. Which, I mean, if you've ever had to dump a fire or dump part of a fire that's still hot and full banked on a locomotive, it can be a chore sometimes. Get the grates uh, jammed with a piece of coal or something, and then you're trying to melt the grates, and that's a bad time. Can't recommend it. Okay, 60. I'm gonna shut off. Yeah, we're, we're now out of water. The temp's pretty low. 300C should be fine. I hope it doesn't blow up. It shouldn't blow up. Knocking on wood. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Come on. Oh, the water came back anyway. But it's gonna go away pretty shortly here. <laughs> Can we make it? I hope so. I really hope so. All right. Let's see. There's a 50. And I don't know if it says downhill or not. Yes, it does. That's the downhill, and there goes the water. So we could switch the cars when you get to the food factory. That would be nice, but made it past the converging switch. I don't know if it's downhill all the way to the food factory or not, but hopefully we can just kind of coast on in and get lined into the D-yard and do what we can. I think I'm right at about 80 minutes of recording right now, total. I had to take a break in the middle. Um, so maybe we get a time bonus. 
Whose time bonus would we want if we could only get one? I mean, 88,000 would get the most money. That's the closest cut to the, the engine, though. Yeah. Well, maybe we do that one and we just see. We'll, we'll, we'll line into C4. And then I guess we could grab the rest with the diesel, too. There's probably going to be a diesel there. So maybe we'll do that. See if we can coast on in and then uh, switch the rest out with the diesel and, and leave the... Uh, the poor, sad duplex goodbye. I thought it said 80. Why is it chirping? I'm gonna set up about a half bar. It seems to trim the speed just a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna line into C4 and hopefully not blow up on C4. This is nerve-wracking. What's that sign say? I think it says seven. Of course it says seven. Why is it always seven? Yep. But we're maintaining speed pretty well with this light brake set, so... I'm just gonna leave it be. And here we go, approaching station, and it's a 60. Well, we're just gonna blitz around it at 66, and that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna set up a little more. And then we're gonna have to line switches kind of frantically fast. Yeah, to the right. I think we go to the right here. And then we go left later. Yeah, right there. Oh, goodness. Which one's C4? Uh, to the left, to the right. Perfect. Or, no, that's C6! Which is the middle cut. That blows. I don't even know where the middle cut begins. The 54 or the 565? There's the 565. What's the next one? The 146. So it starts right here. Yeah, that's the 34. Dump that. Recharge that. Bang! Um, and then it is six cars down to the 54, which is yellow. 270. 54. God, I barely made it on the track. Okay. Tie that up. Uh, we want to tie this brake. Um, I've got a DE2 and a DM3. Oh my god, we're gonna be screwed. Got a brake tied. Maybe we're level enough we can relay to fire. I don't know, we'll see. I want to turn that middle job in, which is the worst time bonus to get, but we were panicking, so what are you gonna do? We might be able to get the next one. I don't know how long it took me to put the trains together, so we might be able to get it. 66 minutes! Oh my god, we took forever to put the train together. We might actually get all these time bonuses. How many times did I say we're not gonna get these time bonuses? Because it was a lot. All right, we don't have any water in the boiler, so... Hopefully it has enough main res to recharge this. Yeah, and then we need to set this over. And then I don't know if those, uh, those cars ending up where they are. May that may be far from ideal. They might be blocking the diesels entirely. We might have to do some stupid crap to get them out of the way. But we're only taking a portion of this cut, right? Hard to say. Don't you guys need your cylinders cleared forever, don't you? Okay, come on. Don't slip. I know it's me that's doing it, but come on. <laughs> do, do what I want, not what I say. <laughs> Parenting with heist. Do what I want, not what I say! <laughs> well, at least we're going to uh, make two of the time bonuses.
I don't know what we're gonna have to do to get this third set of cars rescued. I guess we'll find out shortly here. Because we're gonna clog up the whole sea yard with these, and then I don't know if they're clear of the switch back there. We'll have to pull them clear from, C f from the C6 stuff, then get the diesel on the other side of it, I guess. Goodness, what a, what a mess. What a mess of an episode. Um, and then the viewers say, Heist, they're all messes of an episode. You always set out to do this, and then it's always a cluster because you are not smart about how you operate trains. And then I say, shush! Don't give me a lip. <laughs> Let's tie a brake. See if that'll stop us here. It is slowing it down a fair bit, but I don't I don't want to dump the air because I don't want to have to recharge the air. Because I don't know how much more main reservoir the choo-choo has. Because that would be unfortunate. Although we're at least in a savable position here, so. Yeah, the main res is down to six and a half bar. So it would it would be struggling to recharge that all the way up if we had to bring it all the way down. Cool. Alright, so whatever I do, I don't want the steam engine's air to do anything, because then we, we might still have a chance to still use the steam engine. Because it still has some pressure, we just can't really use its air brakes. Which, those other cars are dumped, though. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if the steam engine's gonna be any help. Well, we'll just tie it down here and kind of see what happens. But how much money do we have? We have $64,000, we have more money than we had. Because we effectively had nothing, we had 77 bucks. Get these guys lined in. Alright, I'm gonna tie a brake. And now that we're all basically on the track, get me on the platform, you dum dum. Gonna dump that, uncouple that. And now this will all come to a stop, and that'll be our biggest, biggest job, biggest time bonus. Beautiful. Look at that. 133 grand, you love to see it. That is outstanding. All right, now to figure out how we screwed ourselves with the other ones. Uh, if we can get them, they're dumped. So we'd either have to bleed them all manually and get them with the steam engine. Um, or, yeah, because they start right here. Yeah, and they're closed, but they have nothing in the brake pipe. Oh, they foul just those two. They don't foul those guys. Oh my goodness. Oh God, we got saved. All right, well, let's, let's fire up the DE2. Um, I've heard it's new and exciting. Uh, everyone said that I should give it a go now that, uh, now that we're uh, updated and all that stuff with the, uh, the revamp to all the traction electrification stuff. So. Oh good, wow, this really, you can really just load this thing. Oh my god, you can put it straight all the way back, and it doesn't do anything stupid. Oh wow, that feels nice. <laughs> it's a lot more user friendly. And for probably what everyone experiences as the uh, the first locomotive, that's, uh, that's quite a good thing actually. I don't know if it's going to have the beans to get it up clear the switch here, but... We'll be able to at least charge it, pull it, get it out of the way, hopefully make it up past the switch, um, and then bring it back down again. Just gonna tie the handbrake, why not? She <laughs> doesn't like that. Oh, that insta shuts off the traction motors, huh? Okay, don't, uh, don't do that. Don't make them load that hard. Oh, this thing's kind of neat now. Probably still can't pull worth crap, but... <clears throat> it is basically a tractor on rails, after all. Alright. 
Let's uh, bang into these, but not actually. At least if we do bang into them, then we're not going to roll anywhere because they're all dumped. I can hit them harder than that. Come on. Oh god, that's cool. Hearing it load down. That was such a neat thing on the DE6. Glad to see that the DE2 does it as well. Bang. Tie that. Do that. Charge him up. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, it's really applying applying my brake cylinder quite violently as it tries to charge this. Does it speed up the air compressor if I run it faster? I'm not sure if this one does that. It seems like it does, though. Goodness, look at how fast that ran. Alright, what you got, sweetheart? Definitely still heats up quick. But this is a fair amount of weight for this thing to pull. Yeah, this guy's 500 tons still. Let's give her a little sand and be a little mean. We gotta give it some speed. See, that's a 2% grade there. Yeah, I know we're getting warm. But if we can get this thing up past... Just, uh, just enough of it up past the switch with momentum. We'll be able to get this thing into the D-yard. Oh my god, I got it wide open and it's not overheating that quick. This little dude just strunk! That's killer. I'm gonna shut it off and just let it go. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna clear the switch easy. I really feel like the old DE2 wouldn't have done that. That's awesome. Alright, line the switch. They'll eventually come back. Line the other switch. Uh, I think this is servicing versus D yard, so we want to go to D yard. And what was it, D4? D2. Well, there's only like three tracks here anyway. No, there are four. Okay. But four is for switching. And we're lined in. So now we just uh, wait for a rolling train. Or we could go get it. I guess we could go get it. I pull up the clear option first. Oh, is it T? No. Go the other way. There we go. Come on. Much like starting a real hand car. Oh, God. <laughs> and, uh... Like it never happened. <laughs> I don't know if the hand car would cause a tank car to blow up, but you know, we, we're in uh, money saving mode here. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Yep, shut up. We need to start making money on the ESD in order to pay our fees. I don't want John Doe to repo my GTO again. Get this thing back in there. We'll get it tied down. What a what an adventure! Uh, somehow nothing went truly wrong. We were on the razor's edge, like uh, at least three, four times this episode. <laughs> Yet I don't think Smells Like Kenosha will have played at all. I, I don't think there will be any Kenosha vibes. That's um. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's all gone. It's all gone right. Kind of. I hope you're on your edge of your seat this whole episode. I hope you've been enjoying too. It's good to see everyone back. All right. Set up a little air. Set up a little handbrake. If I can get to it. Pop a little hose. 
don't go out the end of the yard there, please. Cool. Well, there we are. There we have it. A, uh, a week of Dural Valley. A new episode of Career. I don't remember what episode number it is. I think 29 or 30. <laughs> Pow! 78 minutes! We hit all of the time bonuses! That's another 100 grand. We have $293,000. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, we can be out of debt. 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 You know what's really funny? I will probably have been talking about Smells Like Kenosha not having been played while Kenosha was being played because because we've got trains to blow up. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Do it and you're cool. 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 Do it. Do it. I hear the crinkles. I hear them. It's happening. Won't surprise me. It's like waiting for the toaster to go off. It's like a really big toaster. Anticipation. You can hear the crinkles. Come on! Train go boom. Train go boom? Train go boom. It's out of coal, it's out of- oh, there! Yes, there you go. Kapow. <clears throat> and it's still the duplex, even. <laughs> well, uh, I was hoping to blow up the rest of these cars, too, but I guess that wasn't enough force for it. Uh, and this episode's been far too long anyways, so uh, perhaps we'll open with chaos next time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time.